the one with the red light. That's right. right. Here we go. Here we go. We're back. See, it's like we planned this. And I'm not done eating my pizza. Yeah. Thanks, thanks a lot. Thanks to uh, Mountain Mike's Pizza, uh, season four of them being the uh, lone sponsor of Condors Unleashed. If you want to sponsor Condors Unleashed, it's available. It's in the inventory. We'll, we'll put something right up on we'll the wall. Put there right, we'll put it right there. Bright logo, you want. right behind Coach. Coach will wear a T-shirt too if you want. Yeah, sure I will. We'll put That's the right. hat. Yeah, I have whatever. Wall. I can do Why anything. Not? Yeah, yeah, we know that. It's Welcome the, back, Coach. It's for the cause. Thanks, guys. It's good to be back. It's like a NASCAR race, right? Coach just comes on, throws the hat on, yeah. the, drinking Drink. my Coke. Yeah, yeah this is great. It's all good. <laughs> Welcome back, Condors at Leash Bakersfield dot com. Uh, this is a Condors. Hey, Coach Jerry Fleming joining us here for our weekly chat in Coach's Corner. But but first things first, Coach, I mean, long off season for the team, but w- what did you get a chance to do this uh, off season? Uh, I know you spent some time in Bakersfield, but also went back uh, to, to your home in Florida. And just, uh, you know, take me through the summer for Jerry Fleming. Well, I spent a little bit of time here before I left, and then uh, I bought another condo. I bought my neighbor's condo, so right. I went home and I uh, – Kind of got that ready for uh, rental and, and spent a lot of time uh, fixing that up and getting that ready. But uh, no, a little bit of r and I went up to Montreal. Uh, my dad passed uh, in November last year, so we did a ceremony for him. So it was nice to uh, get home with the family for a couple of weeks, and uh, it's always nice to get back to Montreal. Uh, I went to Jasper for uh, rookie camp or uh, development camp after the draft. Uh, yeah, it was a busy summer, uh, enjoyable, but uh, excited to get uh, going. It's but, interesting they put development camp in Jasper because, I mean, why would anybody want to go there? It's absolutely beautiful. It was my <laughs> first time there. I was like, well, you're going to Jasper. I was like, well, okay, I'm going to Jasper. <laughs> no, it, it was it was good. The camp was uh, – it ran smoothly. Uh, the weather was uh, perfect. Uh, so, yeah, it was, it was a great experience for not only the guys but for me as well. What's the condo like in Florida? I picture you living on a houseboat down there. No, <laughs> no, not quite. Pet alligator, yeah. you know. Just <laughs> There's a couple alligators. A little Miami Vice yeah. action, right? No, it's uh, it's it's it's. Uh, I call it a bubble world down there. It really. Uh, yeah. There's nothing quite like it. Uh, no, it's, uh, it's it's a nice place. Uh, I've lived there now since uh, 2001. So. Like on the water, on a golf. No, it's course, on a golf you, course. Ah, uh, there you yeah. go. There you go. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Uh, a lot of uh, nice people. Great neighbors. A uh, wonderful place to live, and uh, yeah, I enjoy it. I enjoy getting back home from the off season and just doing a little R and R. I got a nice little routine down there, so yeah. Uh, yeah. There you it's, go. It's always nice to get home. You know, it was a long off season. It's something we talked about with the guys all week uh, leading up to this the regular season. The Connors, the last team to start the regular season here this past week. How nice was it just to get back in the swing of things, get back to morning skate, get back to playing hockey here this past week? Yeah, it, it was good uh, to get back to our. We've been doing it now for over a month up at. Uh, you know, the rookie camp in Penticton and then uh, with the Oilers up in Edmonton for the last month. But it was nice to get back here, home, get underway, uh, you know, starting on the road. I, I always like starting on the road. It gives you a chance to see what the guys are like, uh, you know, all the time because you're with them all the time. So see how they act and you get to talk to them on the plane and on the buses and in the hotel and, you know, get to see a different uh, different side of them. So it's always nice starting on the road. I thought that we could have won both those games. Uh, a little bit uh, frustrating and disappointing, but... Uh, you know, it's par for the course, but uh, we got to find a way to win those games, uh, especially the one on Thursday. Uh, we battled back hard on Saturday. I thought we played well. Uh, we did the scoring chances for and against yesterday, and I thought we outplayed them. Uh, myself, JF, and Tony, we sat down. We looked at it uh, yesterday morning, and, uh, you know, we uh, we had some good looks at the net. They just didn't go in. Their goaltender played well. They blocked a lot of shots. We hit a few posts, but uh, overall, uh, we liked the compete factor. I, I thought our compete level was through the roof in, in all three games. Uh, we're a young team. We're just starting to get to know one another, but there's some good signs there. You know, I last year, um, you know, the team lost a couple of games early on that they felt like they should have won, and I remember thinking, hey, no big deal. We're just yeah. kind of getting our legs yeah. underneath us. And then you missed the playoffs by one win. Yeah. And I feel like now at the beginning of this season, uh, they feel more important right now. Yeah, we talked about it, actually. We talked about it after the game on Saturday, letting two points or, or game slide away. Uh, the one that uh, – and you, you like to, you know, look at the past, but you learn from the past. The past is the past. But uh, you're right. The, you can't it changes, let, you, you, changes yeah, things. Yeah. You, you, can't, you, can't let, uh, you can't take any game for, for granted. You can't take any two points for granted. you got to come out and – you know, every point matters. Every single point matters. And instilling that right from the hop is, is something that we're going to instill. 
you look at this past week, and you mentioned the young Condors team, and Scott Allen has kind of come in here and, and really impressed, I thought, over the first couple of weeks, not only in training camp, but but in the games. You look at Juju Arcara, he had an impressive start to, to his season as well. But you have a nice veteran core as well on this team, a nice mix of maybe some younger guys who are veterans and some of the older guys like Frazier and, and Hamilton and Newberry who are able to kind of say – you know, hey, this is how we get things done, and this is how things are operating in this league. Yeah, we have a good balance. Uh, we have a lot of young guys this year. We've, we've got some uh, older guys that are inexperienced, like uh, some guys, uh, you know, have played in the KHL or a little bit older coming out of college, but they don't have a professional experience. So having those guys around is, is paramount. You, you need those guys to, to really bring that young core along, to, to watch, to, to see how the guys handle themselves uh, day before games, day of practice, uh, their game preparation, and how they prepare every day to be pros and, you know, to get themselves ready, to give themselves the best opportunity come game time to be successful. You know, uh, you, you go into a season and you kind of, you never want to pencil guys in to play in the American League, but a couple of guys that you probably thought would have been here they're up in the NHL you kind of need guys like Scott Allen stepping up and, and scoring a couple goals and it's a him. great opportunity for these guys seize the moment uh, I, I just uh, we we're coming back uh, from LAX last uh, last Friday I guess and uh, I put on that Brady Six I don't know if anybody's ever seen yeah. that uh, yeah, documentary, documentary on Brady Six and it's really basically about seizing your opportunity and I think guys have been given that opportunity based on what you just said uh, there were some injuries early on in Edmonton. They have kept some guys up there, which forced us to keep guys here. But those guys now are given an opportunity to seize that moment and run with it and prove that they belong in the American Hockey League. You don't like to focus too much on, on what's happening up in Edmonton, obviously, here in Bakersfield. But hot start for the Oilers, 5-1. and one, But really fo focusing in on Tyler Pitlick. And everyone knows Tyler's struggles here over the last couple of years with, with injuries and not being able to stay in the lineup. But it just has to be rewarding to see him perform at his highest level, at the highest level. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, uh, here's a guy that really uh, committed himself over the summer to uh, to really, really focus on his training and to give himself the best opportunity coming into camp. And the best thing that he could do was be in the best possible shape, and he did that. Uh, again, because of injuries, um, he was placed in situations that maybe he wouldn't have gotten. Yeah. And he's seizing the moment. He's taking advantage of that opportunity, knowing that this might be his only shot. Uh, if he stays healthy and he continues to play the way he does uh, or is, then uh, I'm sure we won't see him again this year. We've got a D-man on the show today. Coming into the season, certainly on paper, it looks like defense is this team's strong point. You have some veteran guys, some guys with a lot of AHL experience. you got LB between the pipes. Uh, do you expect defense to be you know, paramount for this team? Well, for every team it is. Uh, the ability to uh, move the puck out of your own end is, is so important in today's game. Uh, you know, the l less amount of time or the least amount of time that you can play in your D zone coverage, that means you're coming through the neutral zone with speed and you're, you're, you're coming in with possession into the offensive zone, which makes the game a lot more fun. Everybody likes playing in the offensive zone. Um, so, yeah, it's important that you have that uh, good balance on the back end, LB. Uh, you know, and we also have Nick, Nick Ellis, a young kid out of Providence that uh, played the first two games in Winnipeg or Manitoba and did a great job. Uh, I thought he played well. He gave us, gave us a chance to win every night, and that's all you can ask from your goaltender. So, yeah, we feel pretty confident with not only our defense and our goaltending, but our, our group as a whole. I, I think we're a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger, and, and again, it, we have to seize the opportunities of not allowing points to get away. Right now, we're going to play a lot of games uh, coming up in November. We play one road game, and again, we got to take advantage of this. Uh, before we go to break, we'll give you a chance to pump his tires since he is on the show. But Dylan Simpson, uh, kind of a guy that, you know, you don't really say his name too often, and I think that's a, uh, a detriment – or not a detriment. It's a testament. It's a testament, testament. not yeah, a detriment. It's a testament to, to his game and to what he brings on a night-to-night -night basis. Well, Simmer has the ability to make plays in tight areas, and I think, again, it comes back to breaking the puck out of your zone. And he has that ability, he has that club in his bag, as I like to say, of being able to make those plays in tight areas, which allows us to get through – uh, the neutral zone quickly and again get on the offense uh, he jumps in at the right time so hopefully uh, you know he can build upon what he does well improve on the things that he needs to improve on and give himself a chance to play in the nhl someday all right jerry yeah. always a pleasure guys thanks for having me on hey welcome, welcome back, back. Uh, thanks it's good have, to be back have some pizza before you go uh, it's the healthy it's, kind it's, it's, the it's the healthy kind, kind. Uh. it's mountain mike's and mike does a great job and if you <laughs> haven't does. tried that pizza then uh 
It's pretty good. Yeah, it's fantastic. Try. I like the little pepperonis. There you go. Yeah, the little ones. They're, they're, it's good saw. You got to give it a try. You can good eat saw. like 50 there, of there's them. There's a Canadian coming yeah, back in them, yeah. Uh, when we come back, Dylan Simpson will join us, uh, and we'll also eat some more pizza, and we'll also make some picks as well with Mike Griffith. Uh, this is uh, Connors Unleashed, episode one, Bakersfield.com. Don't go anywhere.